hello 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 hi friends welcome back to olivia will draw and if you're new here i'm olivia and i will draw things today we're gonna be a little sketchy a little chatty and a little aware about our mental health <laughs> awareness about our mental health and the effects that social media has on it more so than anything else Talking about mental health in general can be very triggering to some people. So if that's you, just click on another video. I'll catch you next week in the next one, you know? I still love you. Take care of that brain of yours. But before we get into any of that, I want to talk about what we're doing today. Did I have a plan when I started this spread? Absolutely not. We just go for it. Usually what happens when I want to sit down and work in my sketchbook and work with, you know, traditional materials. I go through my Pinterest and find a whole bunch of random pictures of people on the internet I don't know, and I draw them. Thank you, people on the internet. So that's what we do here today. Although I didn't go into this with a plan, I typically do this thing where I choose a color, and that's the theme for the page. I like when my sketchbook spreads look very cohesive, and I feel like adding just one color, you know, a limited palette, really helps to make it all look unified even if I'm not drawing anything that's the same. I think sketchbooks are such a personal thing for artists. Yes, there are times where you draw the cringiest cringe cringed that ever cringed this earth <laughs> because it's your sketchbook and you draw what you want. And that's part of you too, you know? Sketchbooks are just little, little notebooks of an artist and like who they are and what they like. Isn't that cool? Isn't that so cute? Creative people literally just see a blank piece of paper and then put a bunch of lines down because they have this insane idea and then they're like, BAM! Art. I did it. But it's just like all stuff that they like and everything that they've experienced up until this point and things that they have to get out of their minds. How precious. Sometimes people are just so cute, you know? They just... Humans. Humans are so interesting. Some of my favorite things to sketch <laughs> include anime characters, which I don't actually do today. I think sometimes I draw too many anime characters and then I feel like I'm just copying manga panels and different styles. And so it's important to go back and just draw from life or pictures of life. So that way you can figure out how you like to draw and what you like to draw. I'm quite partial to anime characters, like I said. I love drawing women because women i'm quite fond of rendering out clothes and folds i don't do it nearly as much as i used to because it takes too much time for me and i'm kind of lazy sometimes sometimes i just want to pump out art and rendering clothes is a work is a whole process in itself and i don't have that kind of time <laughs> So maybe I'll do a video of that, of just running around clothes, because I do quite enjoy it when I have the time to do it. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. I'll do it. Give me a reason to do it. I will do it. I feel oftentimes people ask me, how do I draw anatomy? And let me tell you, I genuinely do not know. You gotta train them hands and train them eyes, train that brain. And then one day, you too can look like me. ka chow. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> this is also the biggest sketchbook I've used in quite some time. I used a really large, like 18 by 24 sketchbook in college, just because that was the standard we had to do. You know how it goes. But this is a 10 by 10 sketchbook. 10 by 10 people. That's kind of a lot for me. He a big boy. I usually do travel size sketchbooks because I feel like I can fill them out easier. I can carry them with me 10 times easier, but I wanted a square sketchbook and this was the only one at the store at the time and I wasn't waiting because I'm impatient, so here we are. Granted, I do like that I can fit a lot more into these pages now. From my last sketchbook, if you had seen my previous sketchbook tour, I had the weird spiral bound sketchbook kind of a thing and I hated that. I did not like it because I couldn't, like if I ran out of room on the page on the left i couldn't continue the sketch onto the right because that spiral was in the way 
so annoying and i will not be doing that again but now i know now i know i'm not a fan so anyhow this is the only sketchbook at the store at the time i was gonna do like an eight by eight or smaller but that's life this was clearly the universe telling me this is what you need and here i am now filling these pages out like a pro i think a lot of times we especially because social media is so big now i think we really put a lot of pressure on ourselves for sketchbooks to be these beautiful pieces of art granted it is a piece of you however i think it's important to use your sketchbook to practice and i am doing quite a bit of that and just letting myself be really messy about it i love watching other youtubers and other artists make those really clean pretty like watercolors in their sketchbooks oh my gosh the gouache painters make immaculate like crisp clean pieces of work in their sketchbooks i don't understand that i don't know if it's because i'm too impatient with my sketchbook or if i'm just too impatient in general with traditional art mentally cannot be there for eight hours that's just too much so we keep it loose we keep it loosey-goosey out here for the longest time i always thought there was something wrong with me because i would go through intense insane amount of burnouts for like a month at a time after churning out so much art and i don't think that i ever felt as burnt out as i did until i started posting on social media yes we are gonna talk about how social media is a big issue sometimes for artists obviously when you're younger life is a bit easier because you don't have bills to pay there's no job that you necessarily have to go to unless your parents are making you get one but at the ripe age of seven, I don't, I just don't think that's the case. So you're able to draw and draw and draw without any consequence and live your life, essentially. The way it was intended to be. But then as you get older and as social media has grown larger and thus a very big front runner for artists to even make this as a living these days, I definitely think that there is a very unhealthy balance between artists and social media now. With the ever-changing algorithm of Instagram, TikTok, and even YouTube as well, it's hard to keep up with that revolving door of updates. Now, I will say TikTok and YouTube are far better than Instagram has been in the past few months. I don't, I don't know what Instagram's problem is anymore. Do, no, do any of us know? What, what's going on over there? I enjoy making video content as much as the next guy, gal, or non-binary pal. However, Instagram used to be a picture-sharing platform. Not all artists like to make three-minute videos of a piece of work they spent months or years on. At this point, I am only really uploading reels, and majority of that is just because I already make TikToks, and I just re-upload the TikToks I make onto YouTube. I post very rarely unless it's in my stories again because it's just not worth it these days i've been on instagram for about seven years now and i finally hit about a thousand followers maybe like three four months ago why is it that only like two percent of my followers see my the content that i upload why is it that i only see maybe one percent of the people that i follow's content it's all but just a bunch of randos. Just a bunch of randos. I don't know them. They make good art, so I do like getting to see new people. But I don't know them. I want to see my friends, okay? All that to come back around and say, because these platforms aren't showing your work and your content to other people and getting your name out there and getting your work out there, I feel like it's really hard not take likes and views as a measurement of your art abilities and your art growth. I do it myself. It's unfortunately a sad reality that we live in. I'm working on it and I hope you can too. Just because the algorithms aren't pushing your work to the people that would love your work doesn't mean your work is bad. It just means the algorithms are bad and we should rise up and overthrow them. <laughs> As I said, I am a big culprit of having that, man, I only got 34 likes on this. I spent three months on this project and nobody liked it. I really thought this was like one of my better pieces and just, it just didn't resonate with anyone. Again, it could just not be reaching the right people. 
I love the work that I make and I don't think that should devalue the work that I made or make me any less happy about accomplishing this new piece that I've done. That doesn't make me any less of an artist for having only a handful of likes. So to combat all that <laughs> and everything going on with these algorithms, I have slowly but surely giving myself time restraints on my usage of social media just to limit the amount I'm really seeing and sitting there watching, especially when I post something or upload a video, I sit there all day and just refresh, refresh, refresh because I want it to get the most views and the most likes and I just want my content to be better and better every time I post. So I've really limited the amount of time I allow myself on each app to give myself that mental break and just enjoy creating again. When it comes to TikTok, I don't know any artist who can post three to five times a day. That's absolutely insane. Very unheard of. Super unreal. Very unrealistic. Couldn't, couldn't happen. Couldn't do it. So I upload once a day, right in the mornings. I batch my content to make it a little bit easier on myself so that way I don't have to make a new video every single day. Just to give myself a little bit more breathe time every week. And again, just to make it easier on myself. Social media shouldn't be hard in my opinion, especially if you like creating content, it should be enjoyable. So you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. And posting once a day, honestly, is still kind of a lot. And most weeks I don't get every single day, but I do my best, we do what we can. YouTube, I used to try to post every other week. I am now on a weekly basis because that gives me a bit more structure to what I'm working on week to week and also keeps me accountable. But I also don't allow myself to just sit there and nitpick, especially after I've uploaded. I upload, I watch it once and I call it because after then I will sit there and be like, man, I should have done this or I should have edited this differently or watch another artist video and really absolutely destroy myself and how I composed the whole thing. So minimizing my time on social media, uploading when I genuinely can and when works best for me, creating content when I genuinely can and works best for me. I don't have the biggest following in the world, nor do I ever think I'll have the biggest following in the world, <laughs> nor do I need the biggest following in the world. The people who follow me know when I post, they know when I upload, and that works for me. That works for us. So if you like my content, thanks, I appreciate it because woof, tis rough out here. <laughs> and to really round out slash wrap up this little draw with me sketchbook session, I've lately been doing a bit of journaling and writing down my progress so that way I know dates on when I achieve things. So today I wrote down how many subscribers I'm at, where I want to be at by the end of the month. I also wrote down kind of like mottos or mantras we're living by this month. And for this month's motto slash mantra, we went with, I don't chase, I attract what's for me will come to me. I feel like it's a nice thing to say to myself every day when I feel very defeated by social media and the job market itself, but that's for a later video. But that's all I have for you guys this week. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!